decir. Beloved, we are gathered today, we may say, with the prophet Elijah, as the Lord God liveth before whom I stand, are able to acknowledge that in such a time as we find ourselves, the presence of God is with us. For all who have trusted the Lord Jesus Christ, there is the grand, marvelous, comforting promise for he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. We are here to remember, to celebrate, to be thankful for the blessing that God has given to us in the person of faith. Every individual is a remarkable living miracle, not only physiologically, but as that unique person, God has declared regarding himself, we read of him in the word that he is God the Father. We read of him that he is God the Son. We read of him that he is God the Spirit. And each individual of us is made up of this triune nature. We have a spirit, we have a soul, we have a body. In fact, that's the order given in the Word of God. I'm thankful for Faye, and I know you are too. She was a unique individual. You know, the very word unique, you can't be more unique. She was a unique individual, as we all are. We're just snowflakes. Everybody a little different, but everybody the same. How does God do it? What a unique individual Fay was and continues to be. For God is the God of the living, declared the Lord Jesus Christ, not the God of the dead. It is an important thing to remember that she is with the Lord. She had and continues to have a relationship with the Lord. We read in the word of God, his name shall be called, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. God came to be with us so that we could go and be with him. For each one gathered today, I read these words, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of all mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulation or trial or difficulty or strait, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Shall we look to the Lord again in a brief word of prayer? Our Father in heaven, we want to give thee thanks today for thy servant Faye. We thank you, Father, for the many ways in which she touched so many lives. We think of the many that are gathered here today in this marvelous, sizable family. We thank thee, Father, for uh, the, the miracle of uh, uh, motherhood. We thank thee for those that are alive today because of her and how you worked in her life and through her. Father, we take comfort today in the grand fact that the Lord Jesus Christ saves all who come to him in simple childlike kindergarten faith and who trust him. We bless thee for the declaration of thy word, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We thank you, Father. May you be glorified not only in Faye's life, but also in our time together, remembering her and celebrating your goodness, how we thank thee that thou art a just God and a Savior. In Jesus' precious name, amen. amen. 
Memories are not just shadows from the past. As we travel through life, if we live any distance at all, not everyone gets that privilege. If we experience life for any span of time, uh, we discover that those times occur and there's no rewind. Uh, we reach waypoints in life, places from which there's no turning back. This I've experienced with the uh, crossing the threshold of eternity of my father and of my mother and uh, people that I love. And I have wonderful memories. I'm just here to tell you that memory is a wonderful thing. It's a good thing to be able to remember uh, face smile. It's a good thing to be able, able to remember things about people, isn't it? And no one can come take that from you. You know, you might lose your savings account. You might lose a lot of things. But you get to hang on to those memories. And I would encourage you to put those memories uh, stay in the pocket of your heart and, and pull them out once in a while and remember them. Paul wrote under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. They left a lot of good memories. And I hope you will be able to leave a lot of good memories too. We thank our God for the gift of a mother, a grandmother, and I know that there are lots of names for grandmothers in Southwest Virginia. They call them all sorts of things. Meemaws and Ninaws and Ninas and I don't know, it's all over the license plates as you drive around. So maybe you had your pet name for a fay. That's a good thing. A sister, a marvelous person, I think even of what my brother Wesley Wilson was praying, he was praying regarding Faye and he was thanking the Lord for Faye's sweet presence, he said. Don't know if you know, all of you know Wesley, but Wesley's known Faye for a long, long time. I think of her as what I used to call her little big sister. Each of us has our own remembrances of Faye, and in such a time as we find ourselves, it's a good time to share those remembrances in appreciation of her and all that God has done in her life. I've been given some of these uh, memories to share. I'll just mention some things in general first that were given to me by the family. Faye, of course, was born. Shirley Faye Price, being from the South, probably when she got in trouble, she got both names. Shirley Faye, on October 2nd of 1940, here in Roanoke. During her years in school, she was quite the athlete. She played basketball, pitched on the girls' softball team. She was also a cheerleader and majorette. Along with her sports skills, she had a few musical talents as well. She never missed the opportunity to play the piano, no matter where, a hospital, lobby, or mall. When she walked by it, it seemed to call her name. Not many know she had a talent for playing the ukulele as well. Her little hands strummed those strings and will forever be a treasured memory. Now here are some personal remembrances from various members of her loving family. Willis, there are so many things to be said. I'll never forget shutting your little squirrel paw in the van door in D.C. Family trips to the beach, Tennessee and Georgia. Our pest control adventures. Being my hair model, you being there for the birth of both my babies. The list could go on forever. Truth be told, I could never say enough about you, Mimi. Your charm, press, sass, 
Your everything has been instilled in me always. I look forward to holding your little paw again one day. Love you so much, your little darling. Another writes, one thing I will remember is how caring Mimi was. She used to pull up a chair to the foot of my bed and rub slash tickle my feet whenever she visited me while I was in the hospital for treatments. That was so special to me. Yet another writes, Mimi, I don't even know where to begin. You are my Thelma and I was your tailor May. Always at my football games, ringing the cowbell and cheering me on. I looked forward to hugging you after every game, homecoming or prom, you'd always had to get a picture with me because you thought I was so good looking dressed up. But the thing is, you were always the better looking one in the pictures. I'll never forget the day Bentley was born. I sent you a picture of him and told you this had to be the best birthday gift ever and you said it was without a doubt. October 2nd will always be an extra special day in my heart because Bentley got to share it with an amazing woman and grandmother. You will forever hold a special place in my heart and you will be deeply and truly missed. I love you so much, Mimi. We will reunite one day and pick up where we left off. Mimi and I were at the grocery store in the bread aisle when she took the bread off the shelf. It was already open and fell on the floor. Mimi just laughed, folded the bag, put it back on the shelf and the pile of bread beside it. Thank you, Mimi, for being my best friend. I'm thankful for the memories and I'll miss, miss our fashion shows. My beautiful Mimi, I never in a million years thought I'd be here writing this. You were the hippest, funnest, coolest grandmother ever. Definitely one of a kind. For 25 years, you were always there for me. I can't forget that candy bucket. I'd come in, make, take my shoes off, head straight for the bucket to see what goodies you had. New or old candy, it never failed. Oh Mimi, I miss you so much. I know you'll always be with me. I'm blessed to have had you as my Mimi. I will never forget our special relationship and will cherish our memories. I love you so much. Forever and always, your little Tina Bina. One of her brother's fondest memory was working on the market in downtown Roanoke with her at their daddy's meat market on the way home. They had to make a pit stop. Faye was in the front and he was in the back seat. Boys being boys, he couldn't pass up the opportunity to put a wad of bubble gum in her hair. She was all upset because they had to cut a big gap out of her hair before she could go on a date. Brothers. Another brother shared the memory of being the one to baptize her. The heater was broken in the baptismal and the water was ice cold, but that didn't stop them. It was a privilege for him to be the one to share that moment with her. I remember, I think he said when she hit the water, he looked at her and she looked at him and he said, I know, <laughs> he was already in. We got a heater after that, by the way. We do wanna give opportunity for others uh, who have liberty to share a memory regarding Faye. And if you have something to share, now would be that time. written here from Sharon the Bible verse was taught this Bible verse was taught to Faye's son Philip by his grandma Price he and mom would say it together for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life 
Mom, thank you so much for everything, for always being there for us. If there's one thing we know to be certain, that is that God makes no mistakes. Because when he made you, he made the best mother ever. We all love you, Mom, and we'll miss you so much more than you will ever know. In the Psalms, there's a special word, S-E-L-A-H, Selah. And you're probably aware that Psalms were sung back in the days of uh, ancient Israel. And Selah meant that the music continued, but the words stopped a little bit because there was time to reflect and time to consider. And now we're going to have a piece of music called Even If, and we'll stop for a minute and just reflect about God's goodness in the life of faith, even if. They say sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Right now, right now, I'm losing bad. I've stood on this stage night after night, reminding the broken it'll be all right. But right now, oh, right now, I just can't. It's easy to sing when there's nothing to bring me down. But what will I say when I'm held to the flame like I am right now? I know you're able and I know you can save through the fire with your mighty hand, but They say it only takes a little faith to move a mountain. Well, good thing, a little faith is all I have right now. God, when you choose to leave mountains unmovable, oh, give me the strength to be
It is well, it is well with my soul. It's my hope that each one of us can say today as well with my soul. I have three verses to read from the book of Isaiah, the 43rd chapter. I remember reading these three verses, visiting my sister-in-law in the hospital. She was 33, and she was about to leave the earth. The three verses are so wonderful. You know, when it comes to something from the Lord, you find, compared to the writings of men, when men write something, they have an awful lot of words and not much content. When the Lord writes something, they have very few words and a great deal of content. So I'm going to read these three verses from the book of Isaiah in the 43rd chapter. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and that formed thee, O Israel, Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God. The Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. In those three verses, there are a few brief things I want to mention which are of the utmost importance. In those verses we see I've called thee by thy name. The call of God is a personal call. The Lord has said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The Lord has said, him that cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast out. God has been inviting for centuries. God said to Noah, come thou and thy family into the ark. Over and over. The Lord is invited. I have called thee by thy name. When there are five people saved, they're all saved individually. When there are 5,000 people saved, they're all saved individually. <clears throat> God calls. I've called thee, he says, by thy name. Thou art mine, he says. It's a wonderful thing today <clears throat> to realize that faith belongs to the Lord. I hope you do too. I hope you do too. Thou art mine, he said. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life. And they shall, N-E-V-E-R, never perish. It's a wonderful thing to belong to God. I've called thee by name. Thou art mine. Then we read those words. When you pass through the waters... I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I like simple things, don't you? I like little words, one-syllable words, 
My two little brain cells can grasp it. God said, when? He didn't say if. God has spoken and the word is when. We are every single one of us going to leave the dimension of time and enter into limitless eternity. When, he says, not if. When thou, he says. Oh, it's marvelous to think of somebody else. What about so and so and that person and wish my uncle was here to hear that. When thou, he says. Beloved, every time I get to share the word of God, I get to preach to myself. I'm leaving too. And so are you. It may be the Lord's going to call us up in the rapture. And it may be we go, as Joshua said, the way of all the earth. When thou passest, when thou walkest, it's part of life experience. It isn't theoretical. It's real. R-E-A-L, real. When thou passest, he says, through the water, the river, when you walk through the fire, I think about those things, loosely speaking, in the Old Testament. The water reminded me of, of course, the Red Sea. Everything looked hopeless. Hopeless. The river reminded me of the River Jordan. There's the promised land on the other side, but there's this river in the way. And the fire reminded me of those three faithful servants. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that was their Babylonian names. Azariah, Hananiah, and Mishael were their Israeli names. They went into the furnace. And someone was in there with them. Again, we think of that passage. He has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. And again, I make this comment to you, the original Greek of that speaks of it this way, he will not desert me in the hour in which I most need him. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. I want to mention one more word here. A lot of people don't notice this word. It's the word through. He doesn't leave anyone in the trial, in the difficulty. It's through. Again, I refer to that well-known place in the 23rd Psalm. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Faye came out the other side. as will every single person who trusts the Lord Jesus Christ and calls upon him to save them. I love the depth and simplicity of the gospel of Christ. It's foolishness to the learned, foolishness to the things of this world. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. To everyone that believes. God said in this brief passage, when you pass through the waters, when you pass through the rivers, when you pass through the fire, Why is that? For I am the Lord thy God. 
I am thy Savior. You can forget all about churchianity. You can forget all about religion. You can forget all about trying harder. And you can look to the Lamb of God and call upon him and win. It's you. And win. It's me. We'll go through. And on the other side, there is the Son of God. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. It's appropriate that we've been able to have some remembrances of our beloved sister Faye. Proverbs said, her children rise up and call her blessed. Beloved, now are we the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as I am also known. I thought of this verse when I first heard of my sister going to be with the Lord. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Please remember that after the conclusion of the services at the graveside, you're invited, welcomed, people are looking forward to receiving you there at Fleming Chapel and providing a time together. Um, and it's important to comfort one another, isn't it? You read in the Old Testament, again, the book of Isaiah. I seem to be stuck on Isaiah today. I don't know why. Comfort ye my people. We are going to have... Um, a closing prayer, and then uh, again some special music, and our director will come and tell us when we are ready to proceed uh, for the remainder of the services at the graveside. Our Father, we thank thee for these moments together to reflect upon, to remember, to rejoice in the life of Faye. We thank you, Father, for her. We thank you, Father, for your goodness in salvation. How we thank thee. Thy word is declared there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Thank you, Father, and in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Father in heaven, we do again ask thee for your comfort and undergirding and strengthening of each one here. Strengthen and help. Come alongside. Only you can touch inwardly the heart, and you see us as no one else sees us and understand us better than we understand ourselves. Lord, we look to thee and give thee thanks. In the name of thy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah.